guys, it's Jess, and this is a tutorial on how I made this really cool Slytherin wand. I started with this basic stick that I found in my backyard, and I took a couple of these small rubber goodie bands that I got from Walmart, and I just placed them around the stick away from where the handle would be. It ended up looking like this, as you can see, just to give it a little bit of texture. Then I grabbed my hot glue gun and I started with what would then be the handle and I just kind of globbed as much of the glue on as I could and then just moved the stick around to get the flow that I wanted. The whole point of this was making the handle very thick. I wanted to go almost for an elder wand look with this. So to do that I kind of let it droop a little bit over to one side to give it a little bit of like a handle feel to it. Then I grabbed my glue gun again and just did a couple little droplets going all the way down to the edge of it. And this is a very like personal thing, you just need to be creative and have fun with it. Mine ended up looking like this. Then I grabbed this basic black craft paint and a larger brush and I simply covered the entire wand once that glue was totally dried and cooled to give it a black base. It was a little hard to get in to cut some of these crevices but eventually I think I did a pretty good job. Then I grabbed this Martha Stewart green paint and I mixed a little bit of that into the black to create a really dark forest green color gotta represent that Slytherin. And I used this color on the highest points of the wand and the lowest points of the wand. So just to add details and kind of just bring those out just a little bit more and make them more obvious. I think the key to this is just using a really light touch. You don't want it to be too heavy. It kind of gave it like an oozing look that I really, really loved. The last step was adding this gold metallic paint and mixing it with a gray paint. First time I mixed it, it turned out too gray and I wanted to have a little bit more of a sheen, so I then just had to add a little bit more gold. Again, you just kind of have to feel it out and pick a color that you like. Mine turned out to be a kind of like antiques burnished gold that I really loved. Then I just took my finger and dabbed off any excess and I was just simply pressing this into the highest points of the wand just to highlight those a little bit. And this is the final result. I absolutely love this wand. I had so much fun creating it. If you guys want me to create any other house wands, I would love to do that for you. Or I could even try my hand at some of the characters. So just let me know in the comments if that's something you would like. All right, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.